Hey guys, it's Jennifer again, and for tonight's meal, we're making creamy lemon chicken pasta. So for your ingredients today, you're gonna need some butter, a bag of Parmesan cheese, or at least one cup if you don't have a whole bag, one lemon, water, olive oil, or any kind of oil, whatever you prefer to cook with. This is two chicken breasts already chopped up, salt and pepper, a thing of heavy whipping cream. This is a pint, we're actually gonna use about a half of it, pasta or rice, any kind of pasta or rice that you want. This is um, mushrooms, it's a small eight ounce container that's roughly chopped, and one bunch of asparagus that's already chopped in probably about inch pieces. Let's go ahead and start your scottle on medium heat. We're gonna start by putting our water on the scottle first, and Bailey's gonna help me with that. Pour it on slowly, and I'll let you know when to stop, okay? It's gonna be hot, so it's gonna sizzle. Oh, no. It's okay. Okay, that should be good enough. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. This is so our pasta doesn't stick, so we just need to do a little, that's good enough. So go ahead and crank it up. Go ahead and cover it so it'll boil faster. Now that we have some steam coming out from around the lid, go ahead and lift it up. It should be boiling. Leave your burner on high. You wanna keep boiling the water. We're gonna go ahead and add our pasta, which is about a half of that box. All right, that should be good. This is completely different than when you're at home. You're gonna to wanna to make sure to keep stirring your pasta so it doesn't stick to the bottom of your scottle. And as I'm stirring it, I keep bringing the out noodles inward because you wanna to try to make sure that your noodles are somewhat cooked proportionately. So what happens when your water starts to run out? You just wanna go ahead and add a little bit more it's only going to take a couple of uh, seconds here for your new water to rebound and start boiling. If you happen to see where your pasta might be sticking to the bottom of the scottle or even sticking together, you may need to add a little bit more oil. If you don't want to go through cooking pasta on the scottle or sometimes we know we're just going to be getting into camp late at night, I will go ahead and I'll buy what's called a 60 second pasta. This is already pre-cooked. Just make your meat, add your sauce, just pick up a couple of bags of these and warm it up and that's all you'd have to do. Start moving your noodles up and out. You'll start to see your water coming back to the center. All right, so now that we have the pasta cooked and we have it all along the edges so it'll stay warm as we continue making our dish, you'll have water down here. But all you're gonna do is just wipe it up. All right, now that you've gotten your scottle cleaned off, go ahead and turn it back on to medium heat. Bailey, you wanna come help? We're gonna go ahead and put probably about two tablespoons of butter on the scottle first. Hold that. Yeah, it'll start melting. You can go ahead and start doing that. We're gonna get our chicken ready. Can you go ahead and get the salt and pepper ready? Go ahead and add your chicken here in the middle. You can add the pepper. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. Bailey's gonna go ahead and put the pepper on. That should be good. Even though you have your pasta around the outside, it's no problem. You can still go ahead and cover up your chicken. There we go. Now that our chicken is completely done cooking, go ahead and turn your scottle off. You're gonna do the same as what you did with your pasta. You're gonna go ahead and move that outwards towards the pasta. If you just can't do with the pasta on the scottle, just remove it and we're gonna add it later anyway and rewarm it once we get to another step. Go ahead and turn your scottle back on medium. Hadley's going to go ahead and add, that's about a tablespoon of butter. Our vegetables in this are gonna be, as I said earlier, asparagus and mushrooms. We're gonna start with the asparagus first because that does take a little bit longer to cook. And just gently swoosh them around in the butter. I turned my heat down just a little bit because the scottle's still hot from cooking the chicken. For cooking your asparagus, you don't want to cook it so much that it's mushy and falling apart. You want to go ahead and when it turns like a nice bright green color, you're almost done. So since we're almost to that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our mushrooms. When you cook mushrooms, never wash your mushrooms. If you wash your mushrooms, they're going to absorb all that water that you washed with them. And that means that it's going to take you even longer to cook out all that water. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to add the mushrooms start to see that it's sticking on the bottom of the bottle. That's why we have plenty of extra butter or oil if you're using oil. I prefer butter because we're going to be making a cream sauce and then that way the butter can incorporate with the cream. So 
You smell the asparagus? <laughs> and you don't like it, do you? <laughs> Basically, at this point, all that we're gonna do is wilt down our mushrooms just a little bit. And to do that, we can certainly cover them if you need to cover them, but hers are looking like they're going pretty good. All right, as you can tell, our asparagus is nice, vibrant green. Our mushrooms have wilted down. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna shut the scottle off. All right, so we have all of our asparagus and mushrooms pushed up with our chicken and pasta. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start on our sauce. The first thing you wanna do is your one lonely lemon. You wanna go ahead, roll it. It helps break up the juices on the inside. The next thing you're gonna do is zest it. I have a zester. Most people don't have a zester, so you're like, what do I do? You have one of those small little handheld graters. Just take your lemon and grate it right on top. And when you do it, you wanna go ahead and grate it either on a plate, on your cutting board, something like that, because we're gonna be adding it. We're not gonna be cooking it right away. If you're using a zester, you're gonna to need to chop it. If you're using a handheld grate, you don't need to chop it. You don't need it super fine. You can certainly do just a rough chop on this. We're gonna go ahead and just slice your lemon in half and set it over here to the side. We're gonna be using that here in just a few minutes. All right, now that we have that taken care of, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start on our cream sauce. Start your scottle. You wanna go low to medium because remember we've been cooking on it, so it's already hot. You don't want to burn your cream. If you burn your cream sauce, Hopefully you have some backup cream sauce. Pour about half of it on there. I'm sorry, I'm the worst at measuring. That's about half right there. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of butter to it. You want it to boil, so if you don't see it starting to boil quickly, go ahead and just turn it up a little bit. See how we're starting to boil here? You wanna start stirring. You do not wanna scold this. Turn this down just a little bit, because it's starting to really boil and I don't wanna burn it. Go ahead and we're gonna put our lemon zest in first. Basically, we're gonna cook this down a bit. I do not carry a juicer. Actually, in the house, I don't even have a juicer. You don't want the lemon seeds in. See? You don't want those in there. All right, so you're gonna do that with both. Seeds are going right in my hand. Grab cheese. You're gonna use about half the bag, maybe a little less. Go ahead and grab some, throw it on there. That should be good. And then here comes the fun part. Turn your scottle off, start grabbing your stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this all mixed together. All right, now that we have it all mixed and incorporated together, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn the scottle back on um, low to medium. The reason why we turned it off to incorporate it all is because you don't want your um, cream sauce to boil and evaporate and go away but you still want to reheat it because you remember your pasta and chicken and stuff's just been hanging out go ahead and re-season salt and pepper as you need to mm, that's really good i wish you liked asparagus it's really really good mm. should we share it with daddy yeah all right Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.